so today in this video we will discuss about an experiment that is to determine the refractive index of a glass slab using the traveling microscope so we will use a traveling microscope to determine the refractive index of a glass slab a glass slab will be given and uh, uh, a traveling microscope also will be given to us so that we will see how we can uh, measure the refractive index from the given formula so our formula is here real height divided by apparent height real height means let's say this is your glass slab and this glass slab we will keep it under the telescope tra traveling microscope right we will keep it inside the microscope and we will first mark one point over a piece of paper and we will try to focus it without the glass slab so now the depth is your real depth it is called real depth now we will put a glass slab again we will try to focus this point so this focus this point will appear slightly above the uh, point uh, the original point that is called the apparent height so this height uh, let's say is the point let's say uh, your r2 and this is your r1 and here another point is let's say r3 right so how will you get r3 you can use either lycopodium powder or any mark you can put an ink mark here and you can get the point r3 we will try to focus this point so from r3 to r2 is your afferent height your r3 to r1 is your real height now this real height divided by apparent height the formula is there is your refractive index so this is the technique we will use to calculate the refractive index of the glass slab we know that uh, the refractive index of glass is 1.5 so approximately we will get that value using this method now a telescope will be given you can find out the least count of the telescope that you know you uh, the same method you will follow for uh, the vernier calipers whatever the method you have followed same method you will follow like the value of the smallest division in the main scale divided by number of division in the vernier scale we will go to the apparatus and i will show you uh, how you can calculate the least count then you will cal come to the table part so what you will do we need three points one is without this glass slab we will try to focus this point with the microscope and that point is your r1 right that is the you are observing the directly uh, direct object without any medium now the medium is glass slab so this object will uh, appear little bit above its original position so that height will be your apparent height and to calculate the apparent height and real height we need the thickness of the slab so for that we need a point on the surface you can point with a marker or any ink you can put uh, over the surface of the glass slab and you can focus your microscope right so you can get the point r3 so what table you will make when uh, for the piece of paper with a glass slab and for a ink dot so three points and for each point we have taken three three reading minimum you can take three three reading a b c so you will get let's say when uh, you only marking is there over a piece of paper so you will write the main scale reading then the vernier scale reading you will add the vernier scale and main scale you will get uh, the reading total reading then same thing you will proceed for two more times three times right so you can get refractive index you will take a from here a from here a from here so you will get your mu a so once refractive index you will get let's say you get 1.52 uh, mu for b you got let's say 1.51 uh, mu for c let's say you you get uh, 1.49 so average out you can buy, a plus b plus c divided by 3 you will get an average refractive index right which should be close to your 1.5 as we are calculating the refractive index of glass slab so here the readings you will take that means the point r2 right the point r2 
the corresponding points on the microscope you will note down as r2 that is with glass slab that means when you will put the glass slab over that piece of paper you will take the reading and uh, similarly three times you will take first let's say a a a you have done then again you will readjust you will level it right and you will do it again so this is how you will make the table least count you can calculate from the apparatus then we will check which line is coinciding then this your you will get the vsr vsr plus your main scale will give you the final result and you can then find out the refractive index three sets of refractive index you will get you will add them average refractive index is our aim of the experiment to get the average refractive index or you can say to determine the refractive index of a glass slab using the teles traveling microscope so now let us go to the apparatus so this is our traveling microscope as you can see this is the traveling microscope now uh, two scales are there here one horizontal scale and another one you can see uh, if i will bring it closely a vertical scale is here so we will use mostly this vertical scale here and this is your microscope this is your eyepiece this is your objective which will be near the object and we can adjust first focus and we will adjust so that we can get a clear image then what we will do then we will uh, put the glass lab over it and we will get another position that will be R2 then over the glass lab we will mark one point we will give uh, some marking then we will try to focus in the top of the glass lab three points we will find out over this scale and how will you calculate least count let me show you you have to find out number of divisions number of divisions over this uh, vernier that will be one small division in the main scale so one small division in the main scale divided by number of division in the vernier is the least count of this um, your apparatus so a arrow mark is here you can see an arrow mark is here so this arrow mark is your starting point where it will coincide will be your main scale reading that means it starts from zero let's say it is coinciding 6.5 or something so your main scale reading will be 6.5 now you have to take it there are screws you will open the screw little bit so you will take it out take it up right so now let's say the point is 8 so your apparent height you will focus again so now your apparent height will be 8 now you will focus you will put a dot mark here over the glass slab again you will focus it right but don't uh, put it up and down just Take this traveling microscope up and down again you will get a point somewhere a uh, little bit above this uh, your apparent height point so let's say you are getting at 9 so then you can three points you will find out r1 r2 r3 and you will then subtract r3 minus r1 will be the real height r3 minus r2 is the uh, apparent height then real height divided by apparent height will give you the will give you the result that is the refractive index so what you will do first without any medium we have put my uh, here put a cross mark over a piece of paper we will put it simply then we will try to focus it from here we will try to focus it from here from the top of this microscope i don't know if it is visible or not now you can see I am showing you over the top of the microscope a red mark is visible see so this red mark you have to see once this red mark cross mark is visible properly then uh, you will take the corresponding reading let's say for this one you are taking the reading as uh, uh, it is let's say 6.1 or 2 right so this is 6.2 centimeter then what we'll do we'll put the glass lab so you will try to again focus this 
cross mark over here right so this cross mark you have to focus again and now just only you up in this knob and try to focus the point slightly above this one you will get the point because apparent height will be generally above the original point so original position of the object so above this one you will get so you can note down the corresponding height then what you will do you can remove this one this mark just you put simply your glass lock and put a put some lycopodium powder or put a dust a dot mark over here with a marker with a marker you could put one dot mark here or some lycopodium powder you can put so here you will get the surface point the distance so this one will be again above the apparent height so you have to open the knob and take it little bit higher and you will get you will try to see this point and when this point is visible uh, when it is visible clearly you will see from here either from the top when this point is visible clearly you will again note down this arrow point the uh, this point you will note down this one where it is uh, exactly match if it is slightly above or below you will see the, which line is coinciding then that line suppose 10th line is coinciding so 10 into you can say multiply your list count you will get the bsr so msr will be this main scale plus bsr will be get the exact reading so msr you can find out which line is exactly coinciding or just above the um, your main scale right so you will find uh, note down the corresponding points then you will subtract this is your r3 final point when you are trying to focus the point uh, which is on the top of the glass lock so this is your r3 now r3 minus initial point that is you without glass lock that point suppose you got uh, let me show you the calculation let's say you are getting uh, r1 point that is uh, your without the glass lock right you are trying to focus this um, without glass lock this point there is no glass lock now so then you are finding this corresponding point let's say 5.3 centimeter so your r1 is 5.3 centimeter now uh, what you are doing you are putting the glass lock you are getting apparent height let's say apparent height you are getting something here let's say 5.6 or 5.7 so this is your r2 point let's say it's 5.7 then you will put a dot mark over the glass lab you will try to again focus it so you will get it somewhere above uh, means uh, the point will be above this r2 point so r3 is let's say you are getting at 6.5 so how will you find out your refractive index and refractive index formula equal to refractive index formula equal to uh, mu equal to rita equal to r3 minus r one this is like the this one r3 minus r1 that is the real height divided by apparent height that will be your r2 minus r1 so i have uh, i am take i have take r3 minus r2 this apparent height i have taken arbitrary points just to any arbitrary points you can take the real point so when you will divide difference and divide you will should come approximately 1.5 so this is the calculation and then three times you do this repeat this a b c three sets as i have shown in the board three sets of data you take and three refractive index you find out now one more thing he is here one magnifying glass is here because the lines are very small so you can use the magnifying glass to check which line is exactly coinciding right you can use this one you can open this you can fix it here also so that you can see which line is exactly coinciding because the lines are really small may not be visible properly and try to take all the readings by properly seeing it parallelly because else parallax error may come 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग इफ एनी डाउट्स और कन्फ्यूजन यू कैन राइड इन द कमेंट बॉक्स शो आई कैन मेक अनदर वीडियो क्लैरिफाइंग योर डाउट्स और आई कैन रिप्लाई योर कमेंट्स टू सो सी यू इन एन अनदर एक्सपेरिमेंट और अनदर वीडियो टिल देन बाय टेक केयर